I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about polar coordinates. Welcome back. Today I'd like to talk to you about section 10.2 on polar coordinates and we'll start with problem number 9. In problem number 9 I'd like to graph the polar point 2 pi over 4 and then give two alternate representations of that point in polar. All right. So to do this, uh, what I need to start with is, let's draw my x, y axis. All right, so here's my x axis, my y axis, and I wanna graph the polar point two pi over four. Now, polar points are given in the form r theta, okay? So typically we have r, which represents the distance from the origin, and theta, which represents the angle off of the positive x-axis. All right, so that's what I mean by r and theta. And in this case, my r is two, and my theta is pi over four. Now, the way that I'd like to look at this is let's start with theta, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna go to the positive x-axis, and I want to say, okay, what if I went an angle pi over four above that axis? So if I go up pi over four, we're talking about this angle. So here's my theta equals pi over four. Okay, so I go up an angle of pi over four off of the positive x-axis, and then I say, now that I know what my angle is, move from the origin out on that angle, positive two units. So I go out, here's one unit, here's two units on that ray, and now I put my point down. So this point is the point two pi over four, all right? So we're able to graph that point. So get your angle right, and then move along your angle. All right, that's the first part of this problem. The second part says, well, what are some other ways that I could have written this? Because in polar coordinates, there, aren't, there isn't just one way to write a point like there is in rectangular coordinates. We could write a point in lots of different ways. Uh, I'll just give you two as an example. Uh, so the angle pi over four is not a unique way to write that angle. If I went around another two pi, so in other words, two pi plus an additional pi over four, what would that be? Um, that would be, what, nine pi over four? So that's the same angle as pi over four. So another way that I could write this exact same point is I could say I go out two units uh, on the angle nine pi over four. That's the exact same polar point. So this guy is the same as two nine pi over four. Similarly, another way of thinking about it is, well, what if I went around until I was back here at, uh, what angle is this? I suppose that this is uh, five pi over four. So let's go back, this large angle is five pi over four. And then instead of walking in the positive direction, what if I walked backward two? So if I were pointing this direction, five pi over four, and then I walked back two units, I'd get to this point. So another way that I could write this is I could write this as minus two, uh, five pi over four. And that's the exact same point as what I have up here. So I graphed the point and I showed two different ways to write that point. Certainly there are more. In fact, there are infinitely many ways to write a single point in polar coordinates. These are just two of them. 